Molly Berry here, continuing my Project Zomboid Beginner's Guide playthrough. Today we make our way to the fire station in Rosewood. We spend time foraging for materials to build spears in preparation to scout, clear, and secure our first base. Zooming in, holding Q, friendly little wave. Look at that. This is Molly's Zombie Adventure, Beginner's Guide Playthrough. What I want to do today is I really want to make it down to the fire station that I think is this way. Uh, but we need to arm ourselves a little bit first, though. So let's head into the let's head into the full wrist. I'm very sleepy. This is risky, but, uh, but we need branches. Perfect. Which, again, if you mouse over this, you'll see what's common. We got two, so we can make two spears now, I think. Come on, foraging. I'll need some more tree branches. It's fine. We're just going through the forest at night, extremely exhausted, depressed. It's fine. Oh, I'm going to start grabbing these bugs, by the way. Because I think these are going to be good for us for fishing for later. What is my profession? Oh, shoot. Hey there. We're just going to shove them down. Ow. Wait, why did my health bobble? Hmm. I think it's because I really need... Oh, shoot. I really need a smoke is what I need. I do not have smokes yet. So, I want to point out what I'm doing right now. It's a little foolhardy, but it's fine. I am walking through the trees. Because the trees are actually a really... Super effective way to lose Zeds if they're on their if they're on your tail. <laughs> I want to go back and see about looting this. That's fine. Um, you want to break line of sight with the Zeds. If you break line of sight, they'll stop following you. Oh geez. And I'm running through a little bit haphazardly because I have a trait that protects me from getting scratched. I think we might have lost a couple of them. Not all of them. Oh, show. So freaked out. Ooh, a leather jacket. That's great. So it's going to give me bite defense and scratch defense, which is amazing. Uh, good clothes can be a lifesaver, literally. It'll save your life. Because <laughs> let's face it, sometimes you get an oopsie and you get surprised. Um, you can check close. Uh, we did talk about this in the first one, but you can check close to see percentage increase. Um, you can see what they're going to give you. If they're going to give you more or less, spite, scratch, defense, etc. Uh, I'm just looking for smokes on these Zeds at this point. And I have a Moodle over here that we need to address right now. Um, obviously, we need to address our depression and our sleepiness. Oh, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. We missed the... We missed the TV. Uh, but we need to address our our exhaustion, our exertion, rather. So let me give you a very big life-saving tip right now. Um, it's a two-parter. Uh, when you need to rest from exertion, uh, hold down shift and right-click and hit sit on the ground. Or if you have a, uh, a chair in your inventory that you can pull out. Uh, sit on the chair because it'll give you a faster, a faster uh, rest. Okay, so this is this is holding shift and getting up, and this is not holding shift and getting up. And you can see the difference in how slow holding shift and getting up, and not holding shift and just moseying on up, like we're gonna go pick up. Grandpa from church on Sunday. It's just so much, uh, so much less effective. All right, buddy. 
Oh, we should have stood on him. And we don't really have a weapon right now, which is why we're fighting. Helps. I didn't get him. <laughs> we're fighting without. Oh no, there's another one. Let me see if I actually. Oh, I do have a hammer. Dang it. Okay. We will equip our hammer and uh, hammer these guys a little bit. This guy should be one hit. Oh, he's not. How many times do I have to step on your head? He's Louise, dude. All right, perfect. And uh, when you do have a weapon, you actually want to use it. It's actually a really good practice to get into to just use your weapons because it, it's leveling your skills the entire time. Uh, so if you look at short blunt, I had a little bit of XP in short blunt because I was just using my hammer. And I have a tiny bit of spear XP because I used three spears earlier or two, two or three. Mm, I don't remember. Well, shit. Okay, so I am going to keep scavenging. I'm going to keep foraging. And again, we are looking for perfect chip stones. And... Oh, do I have my glasses on still? I do. Tree branches. I'm just going to stick to the road because chances are this area is already clear because I've been walking up and down the road um, making zombie sounds. Right-click discard so you still get the XP. I must not have... Uh, of course, I don't have the book read. Oh, I do have the book read. That's right. That's what we did last time. That's what we did last time. And the, the, other, the other part of that tip, sorry... 100 years later. <laughs> so shift, right click, sit down, hold right click, or oh, sorry, hold shift when you stand up so you're fast. The other part of that is to twirl your body around in circles so you can continually check, um, check your six, check behind you. Now we're just looking for three branches. And chipstone. Okay, in the middle of this field, <laughs> or of this road, let's check our map. Okay, this should be the fire station right there, or at least up the road a little bit. I'm just over here picking up pill, pill bugs. We're moving back as we go. And we also have to check our six. So we'll start walking. You can out walk. Yeah, this is the, I think this is the fire department. Yes, this is our base. You can out walk seds, shamblers. You don't have to run. So it's going to keep you from, it's going to save you from being e exhausted too quickly. And as as we get on in our strategy here, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna start getting into some habits. One habit is to try to get them into a little conga line like this, so that you just hit them one at a time without being overwhelmed by multiple Zeds coming up at you at the same time. Like these two are kind of tricky. Kind of, yeah, kind of iffy. <laughs> these ones are great. But they actually bump into you and then slow down. They'll bump into you and slow down. And they'll come up, a little, get a little faster, bump into you and slow down. So you can kind of get a rhythm and get an idea of what the zombies are gonna start doing and I'm kind of a little bit confident about this road because I cleared it on the way up here. So I'm not really checking my six like I normally would. Um, just because, like I said, I, I know I cleared it, but I would never really 100% trust that because your sound waves travel around and... Uh, yeah. Your sound waves travel around and will trick you. Oh, that was scary. Got lagged a lot, around a little bit. <laughs> so my Moodles are making me very weak. 
Because I need to sleep. And I need food now. And I'm extremely freaked out. Oopsies. So it's taking a little longer. Let's whack him. Oopsies. But patience really is key when it comes to being a successful zombie smusher. Oh my goodness. The shamblers, you can pretty much walk and stand on them. Um, we're going to rest real quick. It's almost noon, so I think I want to just go into one of these houses. I think this is my starter house. Yeah, let's go in here and watch TV real quick. Mm -mm -mm. And then we'll come out and loot these bodies. We change it to life and living, and then we uh, tune in. All right. Get rid of this. Should be good. Life and living. Tune in. There we go. All right. So we're learning carpentry. Excellent. So for the first nine days, I briefly touched on it. Once you get a watch, you'll be able to tell the time. And at noon, six um, at six a.m., noon, and six p.m. every day for the first nine days, you'll have TV programming that helps you level your skills. We have a boost to carpentry because of our traits makeup. We have a 75% boost to carpentry. Carpentry is very handy. Um, the higher your carpentry is, the more reliable your crafted spears are. And um, you also are able to build things like high fences. And you'll be able to build water barrels and key survival things that come on a little bit later in the game. Um, okay. Turn this off. Yep. So whenever we are like, oh crap, it's TV time. That's why that's what we're talking about. If you hear it's on Boyd players say. So it's two days have passed. I've missed out on a couple programs. Of course. Let's sleep. Yep, we gotta sleep. Night owl Molly. I sleep during the day and terrorize the, the, the zombies at night. So we're good to go. Obviously, we're we're covering some basics for combat again, but I also wanna Get us into this safe house. I want to get a car. What is my build? Burglar. So I am a burglar, which is a really, really handy uh, starting out trait, or uh, occupation, rather. Oh, it's on that side. Oh, if you're, ever, if you're ever foraging and you see a question mark like that, that means that it's, it's obfuscated. Like, it's, it's blocked. You're not able to get to the item, so you're not going to be able to see what it is until you jump over the fence and clear the the blockage. That's basically standing in between you and your and your your item. So that's what that means. All right, we've leveled up our foraging. Whoop whoop. This is amazing. So now we need to read the next book. So every time you level up your skills, every two boxes, you'll need to read another book. So and earlier, it showed the tick of the arrows as we uh, as an indicator that we we had a book read and we were getting a boost from that. Mm, now we don't have that book anymore. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we can... Let's craft some spears real quick. Go to survivalist, craft spears. We can do four. Excellent. This will... This should help us mostly clear the fire department, if not completely secure it. And then let me show you Again, uh, the trick that we use to uh, quickly slot our spear, I'm holding down the one key, which is our back down here on the bottom. If you hold down the one key, you see items in your bags that you can equip as a weapon on your back, okay? And this makes it basically a quick slot for you. So you go a spear. So now I have a spear equipped on my back. I grab that spear. Yep. Then I hold one again, and I put another spear on my, my back because I know I have four in my bag. And I have one and two. So when this one breaks, I toss it on the ground in the middle of the, the combat. 
at home. So my hope is to get this intact and not let them break the doors down. <laughs> that is my hope. All right. I, I want to clear the perimeter is what I want to do. So let's crouch because I'm very loud. And let's just start yelling whispers. Psst, psst. When you crouch and hit Q, it'll whisper, which is kind of handy to pull like single Zeds away from groups. But let's take foraging off real quick. Give us a little bit more light. We can see what it's so dead. This is maze balls. Okay, we got a small group right there. Not too bad. They're probably going to hear me actually because I'm really loud. I have clumsy, great, and conspicuous. Okay, all right. Let's just uh, just crouch run over here. What I don't want to do is aggro the Zeds inside and because I, I don't want them to break the windows and stuff and the doors. Already done. Stay down. Buckwheat. Oof. Wait, did I put that food? What did I do? Oh, I ate it all. <laughs> I'm like, wait, what happened to my food? Okay, this is great. This is fantastic. There's just one dude over here. So the fire station is an ideal base location because it's surrounded by this high fence. So you have a really lovely chance of not getting completely overrun, especially early on when you're when you're a struggle bus in it. With low resources and whatnot. Ba -ba -da -ba. We can also sneak up inside this building here. We're likely gonna have locked doors. Yep. We'll hold down E to try to get inside. Wondrous. Close it. Unlock this bad boy. Unlock this bad boy. And unlock this bad boy. All right, perfect. So now we're gonna just go and see if we can't. Oh my Lanta, perfect. I was gonna, uh, instead of struggling and trying to um, trying to find stuff at night, I was like, let's go inside here and see if we can't get lucky and find a, a weapon. Excellent. So we have a machete now, which is the best. We still don't know if there's other Zeds in here. There might could be. Here's a little medical closet, which is great because we really, really need antidepressants. Um, bottle of disinfectant is amazing. Beta blockers are amazing. I think I have the cowardly trait. Uh, no, I do not. Amazing. Okay, perfect. <laughs> but beta blockers are going to help us um, hopefully not get freaked out when we get overrun, which is amazing. Alcohol wipes, and we'll grab one bandage. I don't have very much room to carry stuff, which is kind of like, that's why I'm just sort of being cautious. Uh, have a drink. Amazing. Being stingy about what I grab. Um, the other reason, obviously, the fire department is so amazing is because there's really early access to um, some helpful uh, armor in the game. Uh, that's like some of the best armor in the game. Also, axes. Lunch bags you can find in lockers a lot of times um, in schools and whatnot. And they are super, super handy. They'll have sandwiches and apples and muffins and cookies and stuff like that in them. Chips. Um, really good place to scrounge for food if you're desperate. Uh, and it'll like start going bad. So <laughs> early on, it's more helpful than later on. But you'll also find things like granola bars and chips that don't go bad. Um, so these are the, this is the gear. The fire, firefighter gear, gear, amazing. We're gonna now enter our fire, firefighter era. 
Let's try to find the whole firefighter outfit so we can have awesome stuff. Let's wear this. Replacing a crop top. Okay. That seems like a good replacement. And I think also I want to start storing some stuff because this is my base. So let's make this our fishing cabinet. Do, 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 do. I will start making a pile of garbage right here. Oh, there's eggs. Oh, these are gross though. Can cause nausea or illness uncooked. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, da, 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 da. Do I just have one? Good golly. We'll rip this up. And we will start storing um, dirty rags. Not handy. Not handy at all. Um, we'll start storing stuff for uh, sewing, for tailoring in here. Um, overalls is one of the huge things for tailoring. We'll cover that when we get to a point where we're tailoring. Tailoring is a whole thing. Well, boy, is so. Okay, so thread and ripped sheets. If you hold control, you'll be able to, um, just like in any Windows application, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to multiple move multiple things and drag it over. Oops! Nope! 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 Wrong one! Wrong one! There we go. Leather jacket. I'm going to rip that up later. I'm going to use overalls for tailoring, and. Should be good. Was it that easy? Amazing. All right, let's get out of search mode. <laughs> we need to get coverings for all of the windows. This is a must. And let's look and see what's in this storage box. Oh, what is that? A firefighter helmet? Amazing. And a firefighter jacket. So it's like, it's just so good, so much better than the regular jacket. The downside to this equipment is you cannot repair it, unfortunately. But our bite and scratch defense is going to be most amazing. And to check your protection levels, just click on your click on the heart over here and click on protection, and it's going to show you. We're just missing gloves and better shoes for now, and we're we're actually looking to be pretty green across the board. Looking better on the bottom. Looking better. Hopefully we have, ah, amazing. I kind of want to save that. Ooh, there we go. Better shoes. Amazing. Look at that bite and scratch defense increase. Holy henna. Holy henna. That's amazing. Love it. We got an extra helmet. That's great. Another extra hammer. What do we got here? Ooh, long johns are handy. Another axe. Amazing. Another jacket. Ah, long johns are great for, um, Obviously keeping warm, but I think this is going to really help us out with uh, sewing as well. With tailoring real quick. Let's uh, let's finish clearing downstairs. I think this is good. I think this is another storage office. Handy. Very handy. Bleach you're going to use to clean blood off of all of the surfaces. Cleaning liquid is going to help clean your clothes faster when you wash your clothes. And if you can find a bar of soap, it helps clean your, uh -oh, it helps clean your body faster. Don't think there's anybody in here. Ooh. Waffle supplies. Not helpful. Ooh, cigarettes. Oh my God. <laughs> this is amazing. Do I have a lighter? I don't think I have a lighter. Mm, no, I do not. But someday soon. Amazing. So handy. There should be, hopefully, a car somewhere. I like, so listen, I see a lot of PC players leaving doors open. I think we briefly talked about this. I like to close doors. I like to close doors both for, uh, so it's like neat and tidy, right? It's not all uh, topsy-turvy. <gasps> Hold on one second. So it's neat and tidy. It's not topsy-turvy. And then also because um, I don't like to have a place where a zombie can get me. Randomly pop out of a door. All right, I just got excited because I see something on the ground. I just want to point out how difficult it is to see things on the ground. There is something right here. That's a key. That's a car key, which is really great. And now I have a, my occupation is burglar. So I'm actually able to, I can hotwire vehicles from the beginning. But this Chevalier Cerise wagon which is sitting right here. 
now is unlocked for me. And hopefully there's matches. Oh, and cigarettes. Oh, just cigarettes. Dang. So we have... Oh, we don't have matches. But we do have... Wondrous. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 40? We have 2, 4, 6, 80 cigarettes now. It's almost 6 a.m. I think we're okay. I think there's a TV up here. We got to go catch our, catch a, catch a, a, a TV. It's up here. Um, that's amazing. That's amazing. All right. Let's do this. Gonna definitely be bad guys in here. That looks like a coffee pot. Turn this on. Um, I just know where the stuff is because we've, well, like, I've played this before, right? Turn this on, turn the volume down, and we made it. It's a cook show. Amazing. So let's sit our butts on the ground here and uh, actually, I think we'll see if there's a book. No books, of course. All right, let's sit our butts on the ground and grab a much deserved smoke. Now, I'm smoking in the game because I have a trait that makes me require smoking in order to reduce anxiety. And this little Moodle gets crazy. It goes out of control. All right, we made our 6 a.m. TV show, guys. So we just got some cooking skills. So you got cooking, uh, carpentry, and then some survival skills. I think it's like trapping and foraging and fishing. Okay, so we have... Uh, I'm going to put some more stuff in storage, but I want to clear this up real quick. Now I looked in here and that's why I didn't do the door pop. These are, I think bathrooms. Awesome. I think these are lockers. And there's a bad guy in here. I hear you. Oi. Awesome. When you kill zombies inside a house, you can actually have you have actually have a chance to snag a a key, which will help you obviously unlock the door. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna eat oh cheese sandwich stale. We're just gonna eat this anyway. It's gonna make us unhappy, but that's fine. This muffin is gonna counteract the happiness debuff. That we just got. We'll also eat this donut. So overall net negative 10 unhappiness. <laughs> or net negative 10 happiness. Plus 10 unhappiness. Anyway. Let's get well fed. Love it. And well fed again boosts us up from 18 to 20. So we're not overweight anymore. But lumberjack shirt which is great. We've got some more Ironman outfits which is wondrous. Ooh, a denim shirt is good. Then I'm sure it's going to replace our... Oh, we don't have anything right now. We just have the red fireman's t-shirt, I think. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm in a safe place now. I'm going to right-click and read this map. Once you read a map, it's, it's, it's in your map now. And what it does is you can open up your map and scroll out. And now it'll reveal the map that you just read. So you definitely want to, whenever you see a map, right click and read it. All right, let's go remove this corpse. I'm gonna start a corpse pile right here. One of them that just made me think of mods is a mod, ah, I forgot what it's called, but it's, it's, uh, it makes it so you can dump it from, dump bodies from the, from the uh, upper floors. Okay, so we just need gas. That's fine. I'll grab this gas can. We will run back inside. We're getting uh, we're getting tired. Um, let me put this jacket in this middle one. We already have a saw. Saw's gonna be handy, hammer's gonna be handy. You need tools on your body to do things like carpentry and whatnot. Um, what else can we get rid of that we don't need right this second? Okay, where is the gas station? Heck. Um hitting C brought me to center. Just make sure there's nothing in the middle here. Oh my God, it is all the way dead. 
okay, we're going to go on an adventure. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> no worries. All right. So now we know our problem. I think we stop for now and we take it back up next, next week. Next week we go, we get gas and we secure a car. We have accomplished quite a bit though today. We're going to end on our TV show. Next time, beds. All right, perfect. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to do all the YouTube things and like, subscribe. It really helps um, boost me in the YouTube algorithm, and I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying the series. See you next time. And that's it for today. Now it's time for you to let me know how you feel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my video. Major thank you to my supporters over on Patreon. See you next time.